After studying plant-based diets, and in particular the connection between diet and the microbiome, for quite some time now, it takes a lot for me to be amazed by findings of a study or case report, but this one is pretty astonishing. Before we hear from Dr. Greger, I want to look at something called butyrate. You'll see the relevance later on in the video. Butyrate is a short-chain fatty acid made by the good bacteria in our gut as a byproduct of fibre digestion. If we don't eat enough fibre, our levels of butyrate become low, and the body then produces an inflammatory reaction. This study found that butyrate helps keep colon cells healthy, prevents the growth of tumour cells, and encourages cancer cell destruction in the colon. It may also help people with type 2 diabetes, as butyrate helps produce gut hormones that regulate blood sugar levels and lower insulin resistance. Butyrate is also showing great potential in improving brain health. Studies have also shown that butyrate may reduce the severity of disease causing pathogenic bacterial infection by lessening inflammation. Some of the best foods to increase butyrate production are chickpeas, or really any beans, peas or lentils, overnight cold rolled oats, oat and wheat bran, apples, soy, garlic, kiwis, asparagus and broccoli stems. One of the worst diets when it comes to butyrate production is a low carb, high fat or high protein diet. So now let's hear as Dr. Greger talks about this amazing case report. There was a remarkable case report published called Rapid Improvement of Alzheimer's Disease Symptoms Following Fecal Microbiota Transplantation. So the US FDA only allows fecal transplants in clinical medicine for the treatment of uh, recalcitrant infections with a bad bug known as uh, C. diff. But because of that, there's been a lot of people that have gotten fecal transplants. And so what we see are these kind of serendipitous improvements in these case reports. So for example, people who were bald all of a sudden grew back hair after a fecal transplant or improvements in multiple sclerosis. Well, the dementia um, report involved an 82-year-old man with a five-year history of gradually declining memory and cognition. His minimal state exam uh, was 20 out of 30. That would be indicating a mild cognitive impairment. But two months after that fecal transplant from his wife, his uh, core MSE score uh, went to 26, which is uh, normal cognition. By month six, he was near perfect score of 29, marked improvement in mood, social interaction, and expressiveness. It's the case reports like those that make one interested in the field um, and want to start putting it to the test. Is butyrate, for example, which is short chain fatty acid, which is produced from the microbial fermentation of fiber and resistant starch. We're talking whole grains, particularly whole intact grains and legumes. Those are the two highest concentrated sources of fiber. They act as prebiotics to create these microbial byproducts like butyrate that then gets absorbed from the colon into your bloodstream, circulate throughout your body. We know butyrate does improve the memory function of rats and mice, and uh, Alzheimer's patients, the microbiomes have been found to have more pro-inflammatory bugs, fewer butyrate-producing bugs. And the reason that we think this is not just a, a consequence of poorer diets among Alzheimer's patients. Well, they're just not eating enough fiber. No wonder they have bad bugs, right? Because when you transplant stool from Alzheimer's patients into mice, they have a significant detriment in their cognitive tasks compared to those fed fecal samples from a non demented individual. That suggests there's something about the microbiome that has a causal influence on cognitive function. There is actually a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial of fecal transplants for Alzheimer's disease currently underway, and so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.